Hey everyone, this is Scott from Forgot to Grow Up. Welcome to our Altered Carbon Season 2 Thoughts video. I've just finished watching the new season of Altered Carbon on Netflix. I'm just going to be sharing my general thoughts on the episode. I will be talking about non-spoilers, then spoilers. I'll be sure to let you guys know before I get to the spoiler stuff though. But yeah, so I just finished this new season. We got Talk Back. He's in a new sleeve played by Anthony Mackie. And if you didn't understand what that means, it's probably because you didn't watch the first season. Uh, sleeve is, you know, just a body that people stick their pretty much mind hard drive into uh, for those of you who haven't seen the show before uh, so yeah the second season's back we have the same character talk from the first season back and he's like I said in a new body played by Anthony Mackie who's got all the upgrades that science can buy he's almost a superhero in this one which I'm just like mm, I'm okay with that <laughs> I'm a little falcon on the side um, but yeah so this was a great season to see talk back and in a new um, situation where he has to kind of investigate some stuff looking into some stuff and so I really enjoyed this second season I thought it was a great um, continuation on the story of talk and um, into this second season based off the first season and um, a really great job of kind of expanding the lore that we were introduced to very briefly stuff with the elders stuff with the different technology how this technology was developed the resistance talks past a lot of this stuff we explore a lot more in the second season so I really really enjoyed the second season it was a little shorter it was only eight episodes but it was short and sweet I thought they did a really great job of just telling the story they wanted to tell in this season um, they brought lot some character some we had some returning characters not just talk in a new body but we also had Poe return our AI from the last um, season and he's got a little bit of problems due to some of the stuff that happened in the last season so he's had a little bit of um, malfunction and glitches so we're it's, um, we're seeing kind of how that's putting a uh, strain on his and talks relationship as much as you, they obviously have a relationship they're friends they've been traveling together forever um but yeah so this second season i really enjoyed kind of coming into it having this premise um of him having to kind of investigate something again that he necessarily wasn't fully on board with and then it's slowly kind of leading to stuff that he's a little bit more invested in so i really enjoyed this one seeing some of the returning characters and new characters that play into this story that we've we're already partly told in the first season, but they've continued on and sh also told us this new story in the second season. It's kind of weird because it's this whole overall arcing story, obviously, of the talk. And um, we obviously, this is just another chapter in it, but it was also kind of great because we explored more in the world and more about the resistance and uh, the protectorate and the resistance and their kind of how it was kind of founded and all that stuff. So I really enjoyed that. We explore a lot more, like I said, about the elders um well not a lot more but we started to explore a little bit more about the elders and the lore that went into them and who they were uh so i really enjoyed that uh, that element of this season i like i said i enjoyed all these new the new and returning characters we got in this season it's also fun because this show has the premise of you know just because you have a body doesn't mean it's the same character in that body and they have ways of being able to bring back bodies in this sense via uh, synthetics and clones and stuff like that so i really enjoyed the season because they were able to bring some of the characters from last season back in face necessarily but not necessarily in the the fact that their character was brought so it's just a fun little thing it's kind of like it's funny i'm re-watching westworld right now at the same time so it's kind of funny to see the little bit of parallels between you know when you have the ability to pretty much put anybody's face in a body or well westworld it's robots but you know what i mean like when you can't tell who's who it does add a little bit more fun, uh, interesting elements to a sci-fi so i really enjoyed that about this second season uh and i thought it just overall like i said did a great job of telling a story over this whole season uh i don't know if this is quite spoilers but it does end in a way that i that i felt at least was great i love when a season ends where i'm like okay this could be the show's just the show's over and i'm okay with it or it could be like oh we could get another season and i thought this one did a really great job of just giving it that kind of um but not not too broad an ending but a nice kind of ending where it's like okay if netflix decides to cancel it i won't be that disappointed but if they didn't make another season it would still make sense so i really I thought they did a really, really good job with the season overall and the way it was. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to get into some actual spoilers onto the season. So if you haven't watched it and if you don't want to be spoiled on the second season, you'll you want to click out now. Um, but yeah, so some of the spoilers about this season that I enjoyed. We see um, Quell's back. Quill's back. Quell. Uh, wow. 
can never want to say her name. Falconer's back, um, and at first she doesn't have her full memory, uh, and that's we learned throughout the season why that is, and that's because she's infected by an elder, which I thought was a really fun element of this season, having getting to learn a little bit more about the elders uh, via one of them kind of infecting um, uh, Falconer. So I really enjoyed that. This is another fun thing in this season was we got young talk back or talks birth sleep back via the, uh, the protector and having had a backup of his younger self and so that was a fun thing another one of those elements like i said that's a fun way of bring, they're able to bring back characters and uh from other seasons and from other even points in time in a sense because his character had pretty much talked young talk or uh um Kovacs Prime, as it was referred to in the Netflix subtitles. Uh, so Kovacs Prime is a younger version of uh, Talk, who was backed up before he had left the Protectorate. So it's kind of funny because you kind of get this time travel -y almost element, even though the guy didn't time travel. He was just kind of, his backup was saved before, uh, like, you know, 300 years ago, before all this, all the stuff we saw pretty much in the first season. So that was just a fun little element. We got to see a little talk versus talk. We get to see him kind of, again, spoilers, him uh, rejoin the uprising in a, a second time. At first, he's, you know, obviously at first, he's just really pissed off with himself uh, for having killed his sister. And then he becomes, throughout the season, starts to learn a little bit more. They did a really great job, actually, of doing some great character development with the different characters within just the eight episodes that we got it's like between you know old talk new talk and uh falconer and all that stuff and then giving us a little bit of the elder stuff not too much that's one thing that i'm like ooh, i love that you guys gave us a little bit not too much but i also want more i would watch a whole series just about the, like tell just about dig <laughs> exploring the falconer uh, lore and their history and stuff but i'm hoping well that we'll explore it more next season via the same way we did this season with it being you know an elder kind of uh, well maybe not the exact same way where there's an elder infecting somebody but some kind of thing like that the problem revolving around something relating to the elders i hope the next season gets into that so um yeah th speaking of the elders we did kind of get a glimpse of them at one point we see so Harlan's world is their home or is the planet that uh, it seems like is the elders home plan or at least the planet they decided to take a nap and go into hibernation it seems um because that's where the founders um of you know the protectorate uh or or part of the protectorate first discovered Harlan's land and they just massacred the elders and we see though at one point that it looks like the elders were just some giant winged lizard looking things and i was like okay i wasn't expecting that but cool i'm down for some cool looking alien stuff uh and so i like that they were it was an unexpected thing and i like that they also kind of left it ambiguous enough that i'm like was that their true form is that the was that just this kind of thing because they had been in hibernation it was just a really interesting kind of little glimpse that i would just what makes me want to learn a little bit more um yeah so this whole season ends up revolving around like i said the elder wanting to get revenge against the founders for having just pretty much killed all their family uh and then started extracting the ground and we learned that like the song um song spires which are the trees um kind of were like pretty much are like the elders um, computer systems in a sense and that was what would store stuff would store their um was able to kind of like store their consciousness it seems because that's how the elder survived and was able to transfer to falconer who then you know went on a rampage killing the um uh the founders but she didn't have a memory of all that so overall i just really enjoyed that story it was just really kind of fun to explore that mystery and learn about that through the season um so yeah so we see the revenge for that oh another fun thing i kind of talked a little bit about in the non-spoilers but the, the satchel spoiler was there's a whole episode or part of an episode revolved around uh tack having to fight some synthetics in a um in a, a tournament called the the circle that would kind of prove it was a punishment actually called the circle where he has to you know fight a bunch of combatants and it's supposed to end with him being dead but he ends up killing everybody um and so that was fun because they use synthetic they end up using synthetic uh I don't know what you call it. They're just called synthetics. Um, so it's just synthetic kind of clones or synthetic bodies uh, that they've made look like characters from last season. So uh, his sister and um, Ortega from last season and um, 
his other friend from last season. Uh, so that was just fun to see them using, being able to use the, the technology of the season to be able to bring certain characters back, like his sister who is dead, uh, and still be able to bring her back in a kind of fun way, making him out a fighter still. So that was just a fun little episode I liked. Uh, another thing I really enjoyed about this season was that Poe was back and that he had these issues that they were kind of dealing with. And then he meets a friend, him and Dig, Dig whose name we learn at the end of the season or takes up the moniker at the end of the season as Annabelle. They are a great couple. I love that kind of couple. They're I'm not usually I don't usually ever talk about couples or and stuff in TV, but they, they I love them. They were adorable. They were great. I just loved seeing Poe, you know, kind of being vulnerable and struggling and finding somebody who, you know, was looking for purpose and was able to kind of find it in helping Poe and through that they kind of built this relationship even though they're both AIs I'm not against AIs loving each other um so I just really enjoyed that the just just the, again that character arc actually too that character development for Poe who's you know struggling through this whole season because he's dealing with these malfunctions and he knows it's going to eventually if he keeps holding on that he's not going to be he's going to just die and, and completely but he also doesn't want to like the only way to solve that is in uh in a kind of metaphorical or figurative um, death of him having to kind of reboot uh, and, that, and then him and Dig or Annabelle kind of develop a relationship through having to, how him overcoming the feeling of being able to let go and being scared of death in a sense, uh, even as an AI and being able to kind of, um, you know, find a solution around that, which ends up kind of working, but not entirely. I do like the way they, you know, bring it, he, they bring him back at the end, um, but he's not completely, he is, he does still have his memories, but they're not ex quite as accessible or easily accessible. So I really am curious to see where we go next season with Poe's character and Annabella, I hope she sticks around. Um, but yeah, so then we get the end, how the season ended. The ending, we, you know, I don't want to say typical kind of ending, but it was the ending of Tak sacrificing himself to save the day, to stop the elder, stop everybody, you know, save Falconer and, you know, be the hero of the day. And at first, I, at first they got me, I'll, I'll admit it, they got me, I thought they killed off Tak completely because we had Kovacs Prime still kicking around, I'm like, oh, we're going to switch to following him now and get this different perspective, uh, but then they did this great move, which I really love, which was that Poe saved Tak's mind, he copied Tak's mind, saved it in with his stuff, and while he was getting all compressed, he was able to keep it together, and they show at the very end that they make one of the DHFs, um, uh, or they show a little design of a DHF, and it's like, oh, he's coming back back good on you poe good ah, this is why i love you poe you saved him and so i love that a they kind of give you that <laughs> you know the fake out of killing him and i i love that i believed it at least because i like i said i could see them maybe going next season having followed uh kovacs prime instead or maybe just even following falconer next season or a combination of that like i could see them going about that route uh but then they within a couple minutes were like no, no, he was saved. We're going to be following him probably again next season and have those other ones kind of, you know, coming into the story like they did this season and last season. So I was really happy the way this ended. And again, it was a, it's a ending enough that if they don't give me a third season, I'm happy enough with it. It is a good way to end the story. It's ambiguous enough that you're like, yep, I can take it from here. What he, Kovacs, what he's going to go do next, where he's going to go next, what happens with the world. But there's also, it's also... Uh, open enough that they can do another season where it wouldn't be like, oh, they're ruining the story, da da da. They're doing a grab for, you know, just making another season for the sake of it. That there is more story to explore, but at the same time, they concluded well enough that I'd be happy if this was a conclusion, but I'd be even happier if they do another season and more and more and more. Because that's a great, another great thing about this show overall is they can keep doing this because the concept of having sleeves and the DHFs, you're able to just take people and just the stack, take somebody's stack and stick it into a new actor every season. And you don't necessarily have to. And when you can't get characters back, like from the season before, you just recast and because everybody can have a new stack. And <laughs> so this show has the potential to be able to keep going and be able to follow different characters and stuff like that. So I really hope it keeps going. I really enjoyed this second season and hope for a third season. But yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts. I definitely spent a lot more time on the spoilers, but 
that's how it works. But be sure to let me know in the comments below if you've watched season two, if you made it through all these spoilers, uh, what you thought of this season. And if you haven't, be sure to let me know if you're actually going to check it out now that I've spoiled it all for you. Um, but yeah, thanks again for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe to channel if you haven't already, and have a good one.